Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, in news involving the Screenwriters Guild and uh, the Screen Actors Guild. Screen Actors Guild um, today, which is Monday, announced that they're striking. Maybe that might have been over the weekend, but I'm catching up with it now. And uh, uh, this is the first time that both the Screen Actors Guild and the Screen Writers Guild have been on strike at the uh, same time since the 60s, the early 60s. And um, one of the things I found disturbing before the, the actors voted to strike was a, a, just a quick blurb I saw um, involving the, uh, the strategy of the Hollywood studio executives, basically threatening to starve out the writers. They were not gonna negotiate in good faith until the uh, writers started losing their homes and getting kicked out of their apartments. Um, what the writers and the actors are looking for is uh, uh, a better division of pay for like streaming services and for AI and things along those lines. Uh, no, technology basically that's come along and really advanced over recent years that the current contracts don't cover. And I know the act, uh, the Screenwriters Guild is looking for a pay raise, but the actors look more are not so much looking for a pay raise. They just don't want to get ripped off with their residuals. Uh, you know, before you had reruns, but now if you have streaming, how do they get paid for that? I mean, I seem to recall um, with Scarlett Johansson uh, in the in her Black Widow series. You know, what was right around COVID hit, and the studio released it, and there were no movie theaters open, so she didn't make any money off of that because you know part of her compensation was uh you know the revenues at the box office but it did a great job streaming so she had to you know bring legal action or or you know basically have a tantrum and enforce disney's hand on those sorts of things and it's just you know what it's okay to pay people it's okay not to be greedy bastards just saying and that's how you come across Pretty Disney executives or <laughs> studio executives watching this, which I, I imagine enumerate to none. You know, spread the wealth. You'd be amazed. Come on down. Let's see. How is this? How is the support going with the strike? And then let's see how it turns out. How is that? How is the support going to go on this strike now that the screen actors have joined the writers? Okay. Um, you've got the, the the union of the two. And it's, you know, you put, maybe had the screenwriters in this one, and now the screen actors come in and they bring big sticks with them because now Hollywood shuts down. You know, you don't have the, the writers writing for the shows, but now you don't have actors uh, doing anything. So Hollywood's going to go to reruns and stuff like that, and it's going to cost them a lot of money. And now they're going to wait. The, the, now they can wait out Hollywood and wait for the offer to come in or the offers to come in because this negotiation will not likely be the first accepted offer but offers will have to be made and basically you know streaming services and ai and other residuals need to be negotiated here in the past you got the emperor this is the studios the studio execs you know typical hollywood power play they're they're the uh they're large and in charge and you know <laughs> you know, they can make and break actors and certainly with the writers they can just totally bully them because they've got deep pockets and the writers don't um hollywood's now come to a complete standstill and i also think that the screen actors joining the writers is going to put an end to the standoff between the the end of the plan that the studios had to starve out the uh the writers so now um, Jack Smith is going to come in and kick everybody's butt. No. <laughs> He's got a couple other things he needs to worry about. Um, now it's going to be the time for negotiations. Tough negotiations. No nonsense negotiations. You know, this, this shouldn't be a big deal. You know, or I should say it's patently obvious what's going on and how it can be fixed, right? I mean, AI to basically write shows and you don't need uh, writers anymore. Uh, residuals from streaming that aren't being negotiated. You know what, you gotta start negotiating in good faith. You can't, you know, 
you had you had your run of taking advantage of people. Now it's time to stop being a dick. There will not there will be victims in this. You know this. The, it's going to be a. It looks like it's going to be a while before um, this gets resolved. But I think more that this is. Um, you know, neither side's going to get everything they want on this. And that's you know the art of compromise. And probably the execs get more than they deserve, but uh, you know you're going to get something out of this. And the outcome, you know, it, I think the sorrow. You shouldn't say this is the the lesson to be learned. The executives have been taking advantage of a situation, and before they get all five cups, they've already gotten three. They before they get these two, the the screen actors struck and said, you know, you got to stop this. You've already taken more than your fair share. And then, you know, New Deal comes out. Uh, and I like the page as that part of that New Deal because a lot of the stuff that they're dealing with is brand new. It's young. It's in infant stages. And uh, it this stuff needs to be dealt with. Uh, and technology is changing quickly. So they're going to need to continue to deal with this. Um, overall, I think the the process is going to is going to work. Uh You've got, um, I think the, the studios have had the advantage, but it was an unfair advantage. Now there's a fighting chance. Uh, and if, you know, if more um, groups that are involved with Hollywood strike, it really starts putting the pressure on the Hollywood executives to come to a reasonable uh, compromise. I don't think, you know, at this, I don't think, I don't look at this as the, the actors looking for leverage and power and you know sticking it to the man type of thing they want their fair share that's what they want they want their fair share the problem is who gets to define what fair is and again with the uh with the writers they're in a much weaker position because they don't have the deep pockets that some of the actors have so I guess <laughs> my bias is showing that you know what side I'm on with this one. Okay. How does this get resolved? Four cards on this one. How does this get resolved? How does this get resolved? Oh, uh, keep going. Kind of like that card on the bottom, whatever that is. So we're going to keep it there because underlying is going to be the nostalgia, the way the things, the way things were. How are things going to be? It's going to come to a quick end. When it finally, I don't think this is going to be Hollywood crashing, uh, and nor do I think they're remaking the Towering Inferno. I think it's just this is going to come to a quick end because the um, because the uh, the actors have joined the fight. Oh, we got a lot of movement in here, a lot of movement. Um, Power, it's going to it's going to break down the power structure that's currently in place, and um, there'll be a new like. Uh, and again, I think uh, Sterling was talking about this. You know, the contracts that they used to sign would go for 10, 20 years or something like that. So whatever the current contracts are, are going to be destroyed. The the current structure is going to be destroyed, and something is going to be put in its path that is a more uh, progressive. And I don't mean progressive as in liberal. It's as in a a regular, a regular periodic checking of contracts. Like, no, we can't just ignore this until the tower blows up. We got to keep checking in every once in a while to make sure how technology is going because the technology changes really quickly. So you need to constantly be on top of it and then incorporate this quick moving technology into the, uh, the structuring contract. So contracts, to me, this is contracts. And contracts being constantly torn up and then updated because of this. And gone are the days of past where you can have one contract, and that again, that contract could be good for decades. Th those days are gone because technology changes too fast. Maybe at some point, if technology slows down, don't know how that's going to be, but let's say it does, then they might be able to extend those contracts. But at that point, there's no point in extending the contracts because you've got a good system 
and constantly evaluating the changes. And that's what you need to do on this one. Just keep evaluating it, see what's changed, draft up a contract that's fair, enact that contract, and then you know, periodically check it. Did the environment change? It did. Then make the changes to the next contract to accommodate those changes. Seems really reasonable. Everybody wins, nobody goes on strike. And you keep cranking out movies and TV shows and all the things that we enjoy. Um, anyways, so uh, I think things are looking okay for the, uh, oh, you know, I, I can I can try and throw on a, when will this, when will this be over? When will this strike be over? <laughs> now we're, now we're delving into the <laughs> who knows part of it. When will this strike be over? It's going to be a quick strike. It's going to be a slow strike. When's it going to be over? Um... Seven. Oh, I don't think it's going to be July. Um, there's going to be how long? God's name, do I th five? Five months? Let's see. What is it? July? What to put us in December? Possibly. Let's see. Temperance. It's going to take a little bit of time because they have to incorporate things. Stop the steal. <laughs> More swords, because you got to get rid of this winner takes all type thing, and you got to work together. And there's your planning again. Okay, I'm not really getting, uh, you know, I get a seven, a five, a four, and a three. Um, I don't know what that's going to be. Um, let's see, seven plus 14 is 21, plus five is 26, 29, nine plus two is 11, call it November. <laughs> It'll be done in November. There you go. David throwing some pasta on the wall and seeing what sticks. I don't know. This is the, I think this is just more telling me that, um, you know, uh, one side's trying to sneak off and make more with it because they've got the power to do so. And, you know, again, the, the screenwriters and the uh, actors are going to cooperate with each other to bring negotiations in. And it'll take time to get those negotiations done. So, okay, I'm going to say November. By November, this thing should be all resolved. All right. Anyways, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck to all the writers and the uh, and the actors out there. I hope you get a uh, a fair deal. And darn it, I want to see my Deadpool uh, three movie. So <laughs> don't take too too long on that one. I'm looking forward to this. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.